in this lecture we will discuss about western blotting so western blotting is actually a technique that used for the identification of particular protein from the mixture of protein and in this method labeled antibody against particular protein is used to identify the desired protein so it is a specific test western blotting is also known as immunoblotting because it uses antibodies to detect the protein so here is western blotting procedure so first we isolate our protein sample then after isolation we load and separate protein sample on sds page next step is electrophoretically transfer of fractionated protein onto a PVDF membrane and then blocking the membrane with a neutral protein bovine serum albumin or milk casein and then incubating the membrane with primary antibody specific to target protein and then we incubate the membrane with the horse radish peroxidase labeled secondary antibody that is specific to primary antibody and then incubation of blood with chemo illuminance horse radish peroxidase substrate and then we expose it to film now let's discuss these steps one by one so first step is extraction of protein cell lysate is the most common sample for western blotting the protein is extracted from cell by mechanical or chemical lysis of cell and this step is also known as tissue preparation so to prevent the denaturing of protein proteases inhibitor is used and the concentration of protein is then determined by spectroscopy and when sufficient amount of protein sample is obtained then it is diluted in loading buffer that contain glycerol which helps to sink the sample in well and then tracking dye is also used in sample to monitor the movement of protein so after protein extraction we will do gel electrophoresis in gel electrophoresis the sample is loaded in the well of sds page here sodium dodecyl sulfate polyacrylamide gel electrophoresis is used and the proteins are separated on the basis of the electric charge and isoelectric point and molecular weight or combination of all these factors and the small size proteins moves faster than the large size protein and the proteins are negatively charged so they move from negative electrode to the positive electrode when we apply electric current after gel electrophoresis the next step is blotting the nitrocellulose membrane is placed on the gel and the separated proteins from the gel get transferred to the nitrocellulose paper by capillary action and this type of blotting is time consuming and it may take one to two days so for the fast and more efficient transfer of desired protein from gel to the membrane is electroblotting so in electroblotting nitrocellulose membrane is sandwiched between the gel and the casset of filter paper and then electric current is applied when electric current is passed through the gel it causes transfer of protein from gel to the membrane so then we perform blocking blocking is very important step in western blotting antibodies are also proteins so they are likely to bind the nitrocellulose paper so before adding the primary antibody the membrane is non specifically saturated or marks by using casein or bovine serum albumin so after blocking we treat membrane with primary antibody so here we use primary antibody that is specific to the desired protein so it may form 
antigen and antibody complex. Next step is treatment with secondary antibody. Here, secondary in antibody is enzyme labeled, for example, alkaline phosphatase or horseradish peroxidase is labeled with secondary antibody and the secondary antibody is antibody against the primary antibody so it can bind with antigen antibody complex so after treatment with secondary antibody we will treat it with suitable substrate so here to visualize the enzyme action the reaction mixture is incubated with a specific substrate and the enzyme convert the substrate to give visible colored product so the band of the color can be visualized in the membrane and western blotting is a quantitative test to determine the amount of protein in a sample so the final western blotting results are like this now let's summarize western blotting steps. First is extraction of protein and then gel electrophoresis. In gel electrophoresis we use STS page and then we perform blotting and then we block the membrane by using bovine serum albumin. And the next step is treatment with primary antibody. After treatment with primary antibody we treat the membrane with secondary antibody which is enzyme label anti antibody and the final step is treatment with specific substrate now let's see applications of western blotting western blotting can be used to determine the size and amount of protein in a given sample and it also used to diagnose diseases and to detect antibody against virus or bacteria in a serum and western blotting technique is a confirmatory test for hiv and it detects anti-HIV antibody in the patient serum and it is also useful to detect defective proteins for example prion diseases so it's all about western blotting